Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. I wanted to make go ahead and make a quick one about uh, securing your Synology NAS right here. So I installed this a few weeks ago and I haven't gone over this yet and it's really, really important stuff. So let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing I wanted to mention is that you have to understand that if you have something connected to the internet, whether it's a computer or a Synology NAS, it's never gonna be 100% bulletproof secure and unhackable because it always will be hackable. Um, what you can do is a few simple steps that will make it very difficult for anybody to break into. And the only people that will be able to break in are the people that like have actual statewide, state-sponsored governments with unlimited resources to apply some crazy brute force to be able to hack your Synology. And I don't think that that's going to be the case for any of you unless you guys are trying to overthrow a government, which I doubt you are. So. Um, definitely take these steps that I'm going to be mentioning in this video to secure your NAS if you want to protect it. All right, so let's get to it. The most uh, insure way to make sure it stays secure is to keep it local. So don't use it remotely. Now you can use it remotely and you can keep it secure, but it's not going to be as secure as if you keep it locally. So if you do want to use it remotely, I'm going to be using uh, doing a video for that some other time in the future. Right now, I'm keeping mine locally because we are in the middle of a pandemic and I am working from home. So um, let's get started on that. OK, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to switch the screens out so that you can see my screen on my desktop here and see what I'm doing. And what I'm going to do here is it was, it was already open. I'm going to close that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and click on Synology Assistant. Notice how I didn't use uh, Quick Connect. I'm going to explain a little bit about that in a second. I'm going to go ahead and click on, after the Synology Assistant finds my NAS, I'm going to go ahead and click on Connect. I right clicked on it and then click on Connect. And then it's going to bring me to the um, a web portal interface to get into the Synology NAS. Okay, so here we are into my Synology NAS. It's a very simple setup that I have in here right now. Okay, this is still working. Okay, good. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the control panel and remember I was talking about quick connect. Yeah. This thing right here, take it off, disable it, turn off that check mark right here where it says enable quick connect, because that is a very easy way for somebody to hack into your, uh, your, your NAS. The next thing I would do is go to external access right here, go to router configuration. And for any kind of configuration that you guys have listed here, disable all of them. Because if somebody breaks into your router, it's very easy to get into your Synology because your Synology will accept anybody that is connected into your network. Everybody has access. So uh, you can see here, I disabled all mine. I had mine set up and then I took them off. The third thing I would do is make sure that you have no ports that have been routed from your router to your Synology NAS. Now, if you don't really know what I'm talking about there, or you're not sure how to make sure that you don't have that set up, what I would do is I would call your service provider that has set you up with your router, assuming they have, or just Google um, port forwarding and then the name of your router, and you should be able to access the administrative uh, web portal of your router and take that off because that's another way that they can get in. And then the fourth thing that I would do that people overlook this a lot, and that would be to make sure that you have a username that is not admin, the de facto that we get set up with whenever you set something up, change that to something that's very difficult. Don't use your social media handles. Don't use your name. Don't use the name of your company or whatever it is. Make it unique, something that you never really published before. That's very difficult for somebody to guess. And then for your password, make sure that you're using case sensitive stuff. So uh, minuscule and, and, and capitalized letters, not in the same sequence. Ideally put them, um, uh, sprinkle them throughout your password. And then you want to use, um, characters in the characters. You want to use numbers, letters, and, um, symbols, and you want to mix that up. All right. So if you do that, you're going to go a long way because it's going to be very difficult for somebody in a foreign country uh, overseas to use brute force to break into your NAS by guessing your password. Do you guys hear that? That's the sound of my Synology writing right now. I'm actually rendering a scene and that's the white water with uh, the boat and all the other layers matted against it. 
Um, anyway, I just wanted to mention that um, years ago, I think it was like five years ago in 2016, my one of my first businesses that was very successful and was doing well for me, um, I got hacked and I found out through my customers and my clients that called me. They were trying to get into the website and they were like, yo, we can't get into your website. It's like all red, the screen. I was like, no, 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 just refresh your browser. It's, it's probably just something on your computer. And one, after, one call after the other, I was getting all these calls. So I go on my phone and I look it up and the somebody hacked my website and they took away all the SSL certificates, the security certificates. That's the first thing they did. And that's why people were going to my website and they're like, oh, I don't want to. They would call me up and they'd be like, yeah, listen, I don't know what's going on, but I'm not sure that this is a good idea anymore. We don't want to go to your website anymore because it's saying that it's going to it's not secure and it's going to hack our computer. And I'm like, wait a minute, what? So uh, these people, they got into the website and they messed things up a lot. And it's interesting because within a few hours and or the next day or so, I was getting emails and calls from people in India, these, these IT firms in India telling me that they found some vulnerable hacks to my website and they were offering me their services to fix it and for like a few hundred dollars. And I thought, oh, isn't that ironic? Like that just happened. Isn't that such a coincidence there? Anyways, the point is, is that it was actually my mistake because I was using the standard de facto username of admin. I thought, well, if I have a good enough password or just a decent password, it'll be good enough. Clearly I was wrong. So what they do is they use the computers to imply brute force and brute force means it's using all this mathematical numbers to guess your password. It uses all these different options uh, very quickly. So that's why it's so important to change the de facto username from admin to something that uh, is going to be very difficult for people to figure out and then your password just make it at least eight characters all right so i just wanted to mention that and um hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you want to see more hit that subscribe button and uh i'll see you next time peace